gorgeous as always. Not too kind. Thank you. So today is actually Michael Jackson's birthday. I know, right? I posted already about it, telling about a lot of fun I, I was with him today, nine years ago, actually. Oh, really? We're at the Orpheum Theater celebrating his 45th birthday. We were just talking about it. Yeah, yeah. So I miss him so much. He and I were pranksters together. He had a great sense of humor. A kind-hearted and excellent dad. I mean, just the human side of him was just magical. So, I mean, what happened at the MJ birthdays? I mean, was there more dancing or more boozing at it the MJ birthdays? It was more house parties. House more parties. house parties? By well, far. Well, the ones that I attended, like nine years ago, that was at the Orpheum Theater in, uh, in Los Angeles. And it was a huge celebration party. Like, fan clubs from all over the world came. And I was on stage. I was kind of leading the pack and introducing him and, and saying happy birthday. It was a big, it was a big fun. It was a great party. And I think it was the first time that he actually celebrated his birthday with his fans. With his fans. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, when they're all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really special. So, what kind of presents were people giving him? Oh, I would decorate it because he lived two floors below me. Uh -huh. So I would decorate, me and my daughters would decorate his condo door as a present. And then we'd leave little fun presents. He loved Piz. He loved those little, you know, those little Piz with candies the in them. Piz, yeah. Them. yeah Piz. He collected, he collected them. Huh? them. <laughs> I brought him an African statue, actually, that I flew in from Switzerland. Oh, cool, cool, like cool. Big statue. Nice, and he nice. liked cartoon books. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys think about Catherine and TJ taking care of the kids? Uh, you know, I think there's nothing better than blood. Yeah, no, definitely. Do you think that joint custody is a better thing though? Uh, joint custody with her younger son? With between TJ and Catherine. Your son? Yeah. TJ, yeah, I do. I think a male influence is important too. He's a great guy. TJ's very, um, very level-headed. Yeah. Oh, I think those kids are they're doing fantastic. You know, Michael raised them with impeccable manners. They used to just find Mike and handling themselves with a lot of grace and dignity. <laughs> Well, well, I mean, I think Catherine's getting a little bit on the older side, and she needs a little help, though, right now, don't you think? Uh, it's, it's a big family, and, and, and I'm sure she has the support, you know? Even if it's not in ink, she'll have the support. No, definitely. And I, and I happen to know them very well for many, many years, actually, and Catherine as well. Uh -huh. And, I mean, she's always surrounded by, by great family, so... No, definitely. It's all about the family, you know? You gotta have rooted family, you gotta have fun. You think we should get Joe Jackson in there too? <laughs> yeah. Well, they're, they're, they're handling it their way. Who yeah. are we to judge? No, definitely. But the three amazing children, and they went through a very, very turmoil time losing the father and then having a public. You know, but the personal side of him was just an ordinary, actually, extraordinary, fun, great father. No, and definitely. lovely friend. Great friend. So, is there any new upcoming projects with you? Uh, I've been doing my jewelry line and my clothing line, which is exciting. And uh, going back into the studio, working on my album. Uh -huh. and that's really good. Benny! Still taking care of my girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Doesn't matter what age they are, they just come in a little later. <laughs>